What's up guys, this is John and back with TLD. I'm gonna show you guys a little trick and a little tip for iMovie for the iPhone. Now as awesome as it is, I do agree it's missing a couple uh, simple key features such as fade in and fade out. Um, now I do think we'll see this as far as the software update goes so we do have this, but until then, I'm gonna show you guys a workaround and a little trick to do that. Um, so you guys can see I have my project open right now. And it really is kind of asking for a fade in and I'm sure the same thing whatever you guys have working on uh, in your project you guys wish you could have a fade in um, from black instead of just a transition from clip to clip. So the uh, simple way to do this is simply go uh, log into Safari, uh, go to Google Images, uh, simply type in this black. We're going to look for a black picture so if you have one already on your computer just simply transfer it and for some reason we get a buff dude coming up in black. Uh, let's let me see, that's no good. Let's see if we can find one. So, so we can save this. Save image, and that should work. Uh, then we go back to iMovie. And then where we're gonna have the insert media icon, go ahead and find that picture we just downloaded. Uh, now you can control the transition time right here uh, by actually double tapping it. So this one we're probably going to want a quick one, uh, so we'll go ahead and select half a second. And other than that, now we have a black uh, fade in. And here we go. So you guys can see we now have a fade in from black. Um, so you guys can apply the same thing um, to the end and now you will have a fade in and fade out. So like I said, I will expect to see this uh, in the future as far as a software update. Um, but for now, you guys have a little fix and a little trick so you can add a fade in and fade out to your iMovie for the iPhone project. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys later, and as always, feel free to subscribe.